Hey guys, yes, we are here at Pumpkinville. We get excited every year because this is where it's going on. If it's if you're looking for something to do on Halloween, you're looking for pumpkins, you came to the right place. Right, Leslie? That is right. We are pump <laughs> we are filled to the rim with pumpkins. Yes, and I got Leslie Spears, one of our good buddies, is here to tell us all about Pumpkinville. Why do people need to come out here? What are they going to see? <gasps> They're going to see 16,000 pumpkins. We have uh, we always have a theme each year, and this year it's Prairie Western Town, so they're going to be taking on a prairie town ride, and uh, uh, we have activities, uh, crafts, so much, so many fun things. And y'all take a lot of time building this. You put a lot of volunteers. What all does it take? Because there's like 16,000 pumpkins here. Oh, it takes a lot of volunteers. And we have a sponsor, our sponsors help us like OG&E. Um, we have uh, companies make the scarecrows, school children help us uh, with designs. We have artists, local artists that are involved and just really make this come to life and make it magical. Now, this is obviously a family event. Is this for all ages, all kids? I mean, my son's turning nine. Is he getting too old? They'd still have fun for everybody. Well, I think our uh, children's garden is fun anyway, and this just makes it uh, more fun. I mean, I know adults that come in here and play, and the next thing they know, they've been here three hours. Uh, grandparents enjoy seeing their grandchildren play. Uh, is you know, teenagers, actually we have te a, a good teen force that helps us with volunteering, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not, I like to think that it's for all ages. It is for everybody, definitely. I came last year with my wife and kid. We all had fun. Okay, now walk us through some of the things that people are going to see some video right now of some of all the cool stuff that's around here. We have a Woody. We have all kinds of sculptures. Right? Well, yeah, right now we're standing in front of this buffalo mosaic. It was made by a long. It was designed by a volunteer. Uh, it was designed. It was built by the Moore Norman Technology Center's uh, carpentry students, and then our horticulture staff filled the pumpkins. You'll see. Um, uh, art, a uh, local artwork, artist artwork by local <laughs> artists. Yeah. Um, we have uh, a very tall uh, sculpture of a scarecrow that's made of roots. Yeah. And uh, we have um, a prairie town. We we doing painting, paint a pumpkin. You know, there'll be lots of activities. There'll be like 15 classes going on in our Pumpkinville tent. Um, you can also purchase pumpkins and uh, just just tons of activity. Also, we've set up little uh, selfie stands. Yes. Lots of places for you to take your fall photos of your kids. We even have scheduled a photography's golden hour, photographer's golden hour session on Sundays, where the photographers can get their clients and come in and take photos for about an hour. Um, okay, so if you are planning to come, what do folks need to know? It started last week, but if there's still plenty of time to come out. How much are tickets? All that. Tickets are six dollars for uh, everyone two and up, and then. But you know, this is a fundraiser for us to uh, raise our members. Membership, and if you're a member, you get in free. And you buy a membership, it lasts for a year, gets you in free to Pumpkinville as well as the Crystal Bridge and Pumpkinville next year. And then we have some other great events that uh, it gets you free admission into. So we, we encourage people to buy, and it's open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, through the 22nd. Okay, and that's through the 22nd. All right, well, before we go, I want to show everybody this mosaic design here now a couple of the pumpkins fell down but they're fixing that but mm -hmm. how beautiful is this it is so beautiful i can't even tell you how many pumpkins definitely a hundreds but um we're just so proud of our partnership with more norman technology center this is the first time the carpentry students have built something for us they're always a go-to to count on and then our um our horticulture crew, they selected where the pumpkins go, and I thought it was just genius. These are Cinderella pumpkins, so they have a brownish tone. And then the sun um, with these bright orange pumpkins, those pumpkins are called Pokemon pumpkins. Also, also, this is going to teach you which pumpkins are which. As you can see, they've come up with these labels. And uh, there's a flower over there. I just think it was really creative. I, I think it, it's super popular with our visitors and with people on social media. All right, guys. Well, it's been going on for a week. It's going to go on until the 22nd. If you're looking for something fun to do, this is a place to go. 16,000 pumpkins. How did y'all do that? I never understand how they get all them pumpkins here. All right, back to you guys.